hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will talk about how to calculate the cement sand and aggregate required in a trapezoidal footing okay as you can see in this picture this types of footing is known as trapezoidal footing okay so to calculate the cement sand and aggregate in this footing uh, we have to uh, first of all calculate the volume of this footing then only we can calculate the total uh, cement sand and aggregate required in the full uh, footing okay so the main formula used in these types of footing are v1 is equal to l1 uh, l into b into h and this formula this is the formula to calculate the volume of keyboard where l is the uh, length of keyboard b is the uh, breadth of uh, uh, keyboard and h is the height of keyboard in a similar way uh, we have to use the second formula which is v2 equals to 1 by 3 a1 plus a2 plus root under a1 into uh, a2 whole into h okay guys and uh, later i am telling you uh, what is a1 a2 how will you calculate be patient and watch uh, till the end of this video you will get all the uh, clear concept about how will you calculate all the uh, calculation okay so uh, a is the area of lower part of the truncated pyramid okay you can see in this picture uh, this is the uh, this part is known as truncated pyramid this is column okay but this part is known as tr uh, truncated pyramid and the lower part is known as keyword okay and uh, a2 is the uh, upper part of the truncated pyramid this is upper okay and h is the perpendicular height of the truncated pyramid this is the height of this truncated pyramid now let us move toward the calculation of the uh, trapezoidal footing now uh, the trapezoidal footing can be uh, divided into three parts okay you can see here part one part two and part three and you can see this part is the lower part of the trapezoidal footing this is the truncated uh, pyramid and this one is the column above this footing truncated pyramid okay we will use the uh, separate formula to calculate the volume of different part of the uh, footing okay for keyboard we will use v1 equals to l into b into h and uh, uh, for truncated pyramid we will use a1 plus a2 plus root under a1 plus uh, into a2 into h uh, divided by 1 by 3 and uh, the same formula we will use to calculate the volume of this column okay so let us move toward the calculation okay so uh, in first part to calculate the volume of first part what we have to do uh, we have to measure all the length width and height uh, of the keyboard okay uh, given width is how much 5 feet you can see here width is how much 5 feet and length is how much 5 feet and height is how much 6 inch okay now it's here i have converted all the uh, dimension into meter okay because one meter is equals to how much 3.28 feet okay and you can see here guys uh, this uh, uh, apostrophe symbol if we write two apostrophe then this is the symbol of feet and if we uh, write two apostrophe then it will be the symbol of inch okay which are generally used in the civil engineering now we have width is equals to 1.524 meter length is equal to 1.524 uh, meter and height is how much 6 inch which is 0 0.1524 meter now we have got all the dimension now apply this formula to calculate the volume of this keyboard okay so by applying this formula we will get how much 0 0.3539 meter cube now guys we have calculated the volume of first part of the footing now let us move toward the second part okay so in second part we will use which formula this formula v2 equals to 1 by 3 a1 plus a2 plus root under a1 into a2 whole into h okay now for this we have to measure the dimension of this truncated part uh, which are length length of the lower part of the truncated pyramid after that width of the lower part after that uh, length of the upper part and a uh, width of the upper part now we have written all the dimension here okay so capital b l and h is the lower part and small b and l will be the upper part of the truncated uh, pyramid okay so now again i have converted this five feet into meter okay you can see here i have converted it into 
meter again this 5 inch into meter all the dimension are converted into meter okay by using the conversion unit now what is a guys a1 is the area of the lower part of the truncated pyramid and a2 is the upper part upper area of the truncated pyramid okay so now how will we calculate the a1 just this is very easy to calculate area of the lower part of the uh, truncated pyramid what will we do we have to multiply length into width okay it is very simple because it is in rectangular or square shape okay so uh, i have put here l into b which uh, which is 1.524 uh, and again the length is also 1.524 and we will get how much 2.322 meter square as the lower area of the truncated pyramid again uh, we have to calculate the upper part of the upper area of the truncated pyramid for this we will take what length and breadth of the upper part of the truncated pyramid on which we place column okay so again we uh, put all the values of length here small length is how much one feet and which again i have converted it into meter here you can see here this i have converted meter and again the width is also what width is also one uh, feet again i have converted it into meter and again put all this value we will get how much the uh, a2 is 0 0.0929 meter square now guys we have calculated a1 and a2 now just put all the values into this formula and we will get the volume of this truncated pyramid now let us put the value okay so putting all the values of a1 and a2 and here h is the height of the truncated pyramid okay it should be perpendicular height from the ground okay so putting all the uh, uh, values of this h a1 and a2 in this uh, formula we will get how much 0 0.9017 meter cube now guys we have calculated the second uh, volume of second part of this uh, footing okay now let us move toward the third part of this footing so for third part of the footing is a column okay uh, to calculate the volume of uh, cubot shape we have uh, the simple formula l into b into s which is the length of the column width of the column and height of the column okay so given width is uh, uh, one feet length is one feet and h is what three meter this height is how much three meter and again i have converted all the feet values into meter okay so given all the values i have uh, converted it into meter and now put all the values here l into b into h and again we will get what b3 it means volume of this column part 3 will be almost 0 0.2787 meter cube okay guys we have calculated all the uh, volume of all parts part 1 part 2 part 3 okay now we will do what we, we have to add all the parts to get the total volume of this trapezoidal footing okay so v1 equals to 0 0.3539 meter cube v2 equals to 0 0.9017 meter cube you can uh, check previously we have calculated okay and v3 equals to 0 0.2787 meter cube and now adding all this value we will get how much v equals to 15343 uh, uh, meter cube as a total volume of uh, trapezoidal footing now guys we have got the volume of trapezoidal footing now uh, from this we will calculate the cement sand and aggregate now let us see how will we calculate okay so we have the volume of concrete how much v equals to 15 1.5343 meter cube we have just calculated now choose the grade of concrete okay so i am choosing here m20 grade of concrete whose mix ratio is how much 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 okay guys so 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 and this one is the cement okay this 1.5 is the sand and uh, this is the aggregate okay you have to remember this you can take any of the grade of the concrete uh, according to the requirement and design uh, you you can see here uh, for m25 you can take the mix ratio as 1 is to 1 is to 2 as the mix ratio of uh, concrete okay uh, guys again i am telling here one is the uh, part of cement this 1.5 is uh, sand and this uh, three is what aggregate okay now 
uh, in step one what will you do calculate the dry volume of concrete guys we have calculated the volume of uh, concrete it means volume of uh, trapezoidal footing now this is the weight volume okay we have to convert it into dry volume so to convert dry volume we have to add 52 percent to 56 percent of the extra concrete okay guys so uh, i have added here 54 percent of the extra concrete in it okay so uh, to uh, add extra concrete uh, 54 percent i have multiplied it with 1.54 and we will get how much 2.6 uh, 3628 cubic meter cubic meter and meter cube are same okay so we have got the dry volume of the concrete of this trapezoidal footing now in step two what will we do in step two calculate the volume of ingredient ingredient means cement sand and aggregate okay guys so we have the volume of cement how much 2.36628 uh, cubic meter okay just we have calculated the dry volume now the formula to calculate the volume of cement is uh, parts of cement by total part uh, multiply by dry volume okay so part of cement is how much uh, mix ratio is uh, part of cement is one and total part total part is how much total parts part is uh, just to add all the mix ratio one uh, plus 1.5 plus 3 it will give us how much 5.5 and this value will be uh, kept here 5.5 and dry volume just we have calculated 2.3628 okay and after calculating we will get how much volume of cement 0 0.4296 cubic meter of the cement okay guys and again uh, we have to calculate the volume of sand we have calculated volume of cement now volume of sand okay the same formula we have to use part of sand just to change the part of cement here 1.5 okay 1.5 total part is 5.5 and dry volume is how much uh, 2.3628 and after calculating we will get how much 0 0.6444 cubic meter and at last we have to calculate the volume of aggregate so volume of aggregate we have to put the part of aggregate which is 3 and after that total part which is 5.5 and uh, dry volume which is 2.3628 and after putting all the values we will get how much 1.2888 cubic meter guys we have calculated all the volume of ingredient like uh, cement sand and aggregate now guys we can measure this aggregate into volume sand uh, in volume but cement are found in uh, kg in market it means bags in market so let us uh, change this uh, value volume of cement into number of bags of cement okay so how will we change into bags let us see we have dry volume of cement how much we have calculated 0 0.4296 cubic meter in the previous okay here you have uh, here you have calculated so we have dry volume of cement is how much 0 0.4296 cubic meter and density of cement is how much 1440 kg per cubic meter this value you have to remember that the density of cement is how much 1440 kg per cubic meter now guys we, we will convert this volume of cement uh, into number of bags in two step first of all we have to convert volume of cement into kg and after that uh, kg into number of bags okay so uh, first of all let us uh, do first step so weight is equals to volume into density okay this is the formula for any matter to calculate the weight of any matter is equals to volume into density so volume is how much 0 0.4295 and uh, density is how much 1440 and we will get how much 618.62 kg of cement okay and in step 2 we have uh, we will convert this kg into number of bags so one bag of cement contains 50 kg so if we divide this value with uh, 50 kg then we will get what number of bags okay so uh, dividing this uh, 618.862 uh, divided by 50 we will get how much 12.37 bags of cement okay so let us see our summary what we have calculated to construct this volume 1.5343 meter cube 
uh, of concrete to construct the trapezoidal footing we require 12.37 bags of cement 0.6444 cubic meter of sand and 1.2888 cubic meter of aggregate so guys in this way we can calculate the cement sand and aggregate required for the trapezoidal footing this was for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you